Next, we'll crochet the seventh round. In the seventh round, we crochet 48 single crochet stitches without any increases or decreases, ending this round with 48 stitches. Watch me demonstrate. Start with a chain stitch. And I'll explain the back loop only technique. You can see that a complete stitch is formed by a V shape. For the back loop only crochet, we choose to crochet into the part of the V that is farther from us, as I am indicating. Let's crochet one single crochet stitch. The second single crochet The third single crochet Please complete the rest on your own. After finishing, remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And this round is completed. Now, let's crochet rounds 8 through 17. From round 8 to round 17, we crochet 48 single crochet stitches each round without any increases or decreases, ending each round with 48 stitches. Let's begin. Start with a chain stitch. Then crochet the first single crochet. The second single crochet. The third single crochet. Please continue on your own until the end of the 17th round. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. This completes the round. Next, we'll crochet the 18th round, where we will use the front loop only technique. Let me explain the front loop only technique. As we can see, a complete stitch is composed of a V-shape. For the front loop only crochet, we choose to crochet into the part of the V that is closer to us, as indicated. Now let's begin. Start with a chain stitch and crochet 10 single crochet stitches. The first single crochet, the second single crochet, the third single crochet, Please complete the rest on your own. After completing the crochet, crochet 8 chain stitches. Skip 4 stitches without crocheting and start crocheting 20 single crochet stitches in the next stitch. The first single crochet, the second single crochet, the third single crochet. Please complete the rest on your own. After completing the crochet, continue with 8 chain stitches. Skip 4 stitches without crocheting, then start crocheting 10 single crochet stitches in the next stitch. The first single crochet, the second single crochet, The third single crochet. Please complete the rest on your own. 
After completing the crochet, remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And this round is completed. After finishing, pull the yarn loop long. Cut the yarn end. And the pot part is now completed.